Hello. Good morning. I've um, well, I've just taken that off. Um, uh, yesterday, I was just prioritising getting that hot water up and running. So, what I'm going to do today? Oh god. So my back is killing me still. Um, I'm going to set my power flushing machine up, right? So I've got flushing adapters to go on these two, as you'll see in a second. Um, so I'm going to pop that up on there. I've always put on a platform just because I need a little overflow. I'm going to run that overflow into that toilet there. Um, and obviously the dump hose and stuff like that. So we've got our flow and return connections. Um, I'm going to hot feed it. So that's why I put this on. So I'm going to feed that. So it's going, I'm going to have hot water feed in my power flushing machine. That's just going to allow for a hot flush to go around. And then we're going to clean each radiator. And as that's circulating and all the rest of it in there, I'm going to start doing all the little jobs, like taking the bracket off and cleaning up my mess like that. <laughs> that's appalling. I don't know why that's there. Must have knocked a bit of plasterboard or something, God knows. Um, but yeah, go upstairs, clean all the scrap up, just have a good hoover up, all the rest of it. My lovely customer, look, brilliant. That's just on the bypass in a minute, but fill the, um, you know, I'll, I'll do that later. Just put the salts in and making sure that's all good. Um, putting some tools away, all that sort of stuff. So let's get this set up. So I was gonna put it on there and then I realized there's a washing machine, so it's up there now. Just means I can use the loo if I need to and stuff like that. I've got this set up now. As you can hear, that's whirring, whirring away around the rads. Um, I've got some X800 in there at the minute and I'm just circulating that through the rads, changing direction every now and then. Um, so when I move that lever, it's either going up that way or it's going up that way. It changes it, like that sort of thing. So. You can see now I've got my Spirotech flushing adapters on um, and essentially that's just going up through there. As you'll notice here though, it's isolated at the boiler. So this water, this dirty water is not going into the boiler, right? So it's isolated now. And what I love about valence is when that's isolated, you can top the pressure up inside the boiler, right? Tricking it into thinking there's pressure in the system and you can have hot water, which is what happened overnight. And now what I've got off my hot pipe, I've got my little washing machine valve that I put on. So I'm now filling this up with hot water, 50 degree water, which is a lot better for flushing. This is quite nice as well. I've got the overflow, just runs off into a little basin. And I've got my dump hose, and it goes off into the toilet. So it's just gonna run away nicely. So whilst that's circulating now with, um, the X800, just letting it do its thing throughout all the rads. I'm gonna run upstairs, take my light up, take my recip saw up, and I'm gonna go up into the loft. I'm gonna cut all the scrap up and bag it up, and then I'm gonna cut all the tanks up and bring it all down. I'm just gonna do all these little jobs whilst this is circulating around, making sure that cleaner's just breaking up all the iron oxide, all the sludge inside the system, just breaking it all off before we power flush it out. So, um, I'm basically, for those who don't know, I'm leaving it in to soak like you would with, wash, uh, with the washing up. So let's get upstairs and get this all cut up. Just getting this all cut up. Thank God for my uni light, otherwise it would be very dark up here. So it's nice and clear now. Pull the fiberglass back and stuff, clean that up. Pull that up, great. Now I can come out of here and get downstairs done. So I've cleared upstairs, hoovered it all up, working my way downstairs. And now what I'm doing is I'm turning off every other radiator everywhere, except for this one, which has got the full force of that, just powering its way through it. So in a minute, it's not going around any of the other radiators. It's just going through there. And then what I do, turn that over there. And now it's going where it was going through that way. Sorry, where it was going through that way. I've just turned it around, so it's now going that way. And what that does, there's like a bit of sludge at the bottom of this radiator. It just slowly clears it away like that. And then what I also do to help it is I get my agitator out. AD make this, so one of these. Fiber clean, precision made radiator agitator. Right, so what I do, get that in there and then 
It's very noisy. And what that does is on the inside, any like metally bits and stuff will all flake off. Right, and they're gonna break it all up, and then the cleaner's gonna break it all up, etc. It's all loosening up, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blast that through with hot water, and then the hot water will just clear it out, and it'll clear and go down all the old crap out of there. We'll go out and then go down the toilet until it's super clean, and then I'm gonna turn this radiator off. That's gonna be filled up with super clean water, and then I'm gonna do the same for every other radiator. So I'm gonna go around doo -doo 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 until it's all done, and then it's super clean, and it's been power flushed. So you'll see this done in about 10 seconds, but it's gonna take me probably a good hour, two hours. Depending now we get on how dirty the radiators are. So let's crack on. So I started dumping out. Ooh, look at that, murky on the water. Ooh. And I'll introduce some hot water. Always try and get a balance. That boiler's gonna fire up. And there we go, hot water. We fill that with hot water now. What I've got to do is, I, just got, I can see roughly the, the water levels here. I've just got to be careful that we don't, it doesn't, it's got the overflow connected, but sometimes that doesn't work very well and it starts coming out of here. So I've just got to keep an eye on that. But essentially, we're going to introduce clean hot water, flush it out until that goes nice and clear. What's nice actually is because I am filling the machine with hot water, it's not as quick as the main, right? So it's almost, you see it there? You see that, a little flicker? It's almost dumping as quick as it's filling. So it's absolutely perfect. So I don't have to be as careful. Obviously when you put it on the water main, it normally fills it up quicker than it, it can get rid of it. So then you have to like turn that down or off, let it, um, let it dump out and fill it back up again. But the hot water is actually actually working perfectly with the dump. So whilst that's doing that, and that's clearing that radiator out, I'm gonna use this time to put all my tools away. And just, yeah, it'd be perfect. Just to pull this away whilst it's doing that and uh, save you sitting around. By the way, I definitely lied there. I think I was being optimistic with the hot water filling up as quick as it was dumping out. That definitely isn't the case. <laughs> so every now and then I'm just turning the machine on, let it catch up a little bit, and then and then I'm flushing it back out again. But yeah, it wasn't uh, wasn't as good as I was hoping, but it's all right, we're getting there. It's good. Better to hot flush it than not. This little guy is great. You see, I filled that up. I thought it was nearly there, but that yellow cross is not properly visible you can sort of just see it but that's quite good when I zoom in there you can see it's just a bit murky even though you can sort of see that cross I just want it a tad bit cleaner than that so I'm gonna put my gloves on for this so very hard to do this hold it between my legs like that so get that out there seal that up there ah much better See that? See that difference? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go around and do, that rad's now clean, I'm gonna go and do the other one. Right, just change that rad over. Look at the state of the water now. Yucky, yucky. Same trick again. Between the knees filming. Ooh, easy, easy. Not too bad. It's good. We're getting it cleaned out. Well, I'm trying to multitask like a madman at the minute. I've got two rads left. But what I'll do, I'll just wait for that. Let's get this on the go. So we're going to test the hard. We're going to test the drinking water for hardness, right? So what we're going to do here initially, I've just filled the uh, little cup up here with uh, 10 millilitres of drinking water. I'm going to put two drops in. A little mix up. You can see you've got like it's got like a little red solution there. See that? So now that's like that, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna 
I'm going to insert five drops and I'm going to count it until this goes like a bluey green color. So, one, two, three, four, five. A little, little mix up. Still, still ready, still like a ready color. One, two, three, four, five. There, very hard here. That's 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. You have to sing whilst you're doing it. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Nope. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. You have to sing whilst you're doing this. Ooh. Ooh, there we go. Twenty-five. Do you see that? It's like a little bluey green colour now. It's changed over. So 25, that's, that's the magic, magic number that we wanted. So 25 drops are up to 30 drops, advanced electronic display to 30, which is the rec min setting, recommended minute set setting. So I'm gonna sort that in a second, just gonna make sure this is multitasking like a madman. That's filled up. How are you getting on? I'll have a look at that in a minute. I think I've got this. Pretty, this is a pretty new rad anyway, so just that last one to go. I've got to say, this is the best reason fitting the uh, lever valves. Once I was done, I could just shut that off. It means I can put these back on without draining all of upstairs down. Put that on there. Now I can just open the valves up once I'm done. So back to this now. So that's just an hour late. So I'm gonna just do it to two. And that's it. Oh, I'll press that to confirm hours. Bang. Hardness is preset 30, which is good. That's what we want. Um, okay. This is the first time I'm doing this. So I'm gonna be turning the bypass off now. I cleverly installed it so it went just behind the waste pipe. So they're not gonna Oh, what's all that? And I'm going to turn this on now. There we go. And then out we go. And then what I'm going to go and do. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to let that do its thing. How long did it say for? Five minutes. Resin dust may appear orange in colour. Oh, my God, look. Part right of the money. Resin dust may appear orange in colour. Don't you panic. On Mini Aqua MIDI Master Matrix HDMI, add one litre of water to the salt compartment on initial installation only. Oh, I haven't done that. Where's my water bottle? Wicked. It's definitely a litre in that. Baby. Do you know what? I was doing that water softener and realised I hadn't filled the uh, central heating system off. So I'll turn the soft water off for a minute. I'll turn the softener off. I've turned the bypass, bypass back on, flushed it through a little bit. There's no soft water. And then I'm just filling the central heating system up. I don't know what, I, I'm not 100% sure on this. So if anyone wants to drop in the comments, if it's true or not, I've, I've got like a little, like in the back of my brain that you're not supposed to fill central heating up with um, soft water. And I'm not 100% sure if that's right, but for the sake of it, I'm just gonna fill it with normal, with normal hard water. 
um, and fill this up. I'm just doing that, I've just put it into POA just to fill it up a bit, fill this system. I'm gonna go around and bleed all the rads in a sec, but yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I know I'd like to fill it with demineralized oh, um, water, <laughs> but it's a lot to do. Well then, so, Brian is drawing, lovely. A little region on i just press that one down and it goes into its little into its little process it's doing its little thing so it's all nice happy with that look at that neatly in the cupboard oh yeah oh yeah well happy with this little install it's nice so it's done so now what i'm going to do is um i'm going to fit this um sensor home and my valent connect so this is a proper nice bit of kit, this is, this is wicked. I'm gonna keep that for my warranty. Um, that is the new controller. That's what the customer uses. It's a very similar display to this. Because Valent are trying to keep everything like the same. So customers get used to it. It's the base station, the base. That's the My Valent Connect and then under here, Oh no, apologies. That's the My Valent Connect. So this is like, as Mike Lacey called it, the digital handshake. I think it's so easy. You literally, like you see these tabs here on the underside here. You just, watch this, look. Slide that on, bang. I'm just gonna make sure I get this in the right order. <laughs> And so I'm gonna get the book out before I clip that in. Before I clip that in, but that's how easy it is. And there's there's a H bracket, so you plug one of them in, right? I'll tell you what, I'll show you. Let's just have a little read of this. Just make sure I get it all in the right order. I like doing everything to the instructions, absolutely perfect. Never like to get anything wrong. And then I've got the tricky thing where I've got to go and speak to my customer again, download the My Valent app. I keep changing it. Can't remember that. I think it's My Valent. Anyway, get them to set up an account and do all that. I'm not going to show you that because that would break GDPR. So I'm not going to get to do that, but it's quite easy. You download the app, you fill out a form, you say, this is my home, you connect it to the internet. And then what I'll do is I'll get you to, I'll, maybe if it's, if I can see the customer, I'll show you how to pair it all up. It does it all. Very, very simple, but I love it. Let's just read these and get, get on with it, shall we? So I've just turned the power off and it was my Valent Connect first. So see under here, I mean, Oh, I didn't even show it. Oh, yeah, baby. All right, look how easy this is to install. So you get, God, my camera work is terrible. I apologize. It just goes in there. Oh, done and dusted. All right, so that's that. Got a little H bracket. That's his camera work, I apologize. I'm trying to look at what I'm doing. That's the H bracket, done. And then this little guy, the digital handset. Oh, wrong way around. <laughs> Perfect. And that one, I don't know how well I film this, I apologise. I'm not like these pros, am I? All little bits, all this tripods and stuff. You can see that? Done in it. How neat's that? Nice, isn't it? All wired in. Done. Uh, 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 I've got to put the batteries in. <gasps> oh. Let's unplug that. It doesn't know. Let's put the batteries in first. I skipped a step, didn't I? Uh oh. Right, let's pop the batteries in here then. Is there one? Oh no. No, I think I need a screwdriver for that. Yep, right, bear with. I'm just putting the batteries in there just to say, I don't want to bore you with that. You know how to do that. So I'm just going to take this bit of wallpaper off here just to kind of like even out the. Uh, the depth of this because the hive that was on previously was proper wonky donkey. I'm just gonna do that and fix it on and see where in a minute. All right, so now it's on, just clips on. Lovely, nice, isn't it? There we go, there we go. So, so that's that's working already, that's fired up. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna range rate the boiler now. 
There you go. That's oh, it. That's for you. you. Give me your phone much. back. Um, I'm going to go through here. <laughs> and then my phone died. <laughs> so I set it up. I did roughly nine kilowatts on the heating system. So, um, yeah, that's going to just range rate the boiler right down. Um, so it's just not thumping out loads of gas. So now it's purring away. I've explained to the customer that it's nothing like the Hive. I'll give you an idea of what a Hive, Hive is like. Although it's connected to your phone, it doesn't modulate the boiler at all. So when you call for heating, like this light switch, so let's do heating's off, right? On the Hive, you go up, I want temperature. Now it's just gonna go, boiler, I want temperature. And it's just gonna be like, bang on full gas rate, full pump speed, full everything till it creeps up. And when it gets to that temperature, it's gonna just like go full rate, hit the temperature, and then it's gonna go boom, boiler off, right? It's as simple as that. Now the valent controls modulate the boiler. They are talking to each other about everything. It's a digital handshake. So when you ask for an increase in temperature, it knows how big the system is, how much to turn the pump on. You know, it just modulates the pump ever so slightly. If it's not a big system, it doesn't need to do that. It increases the flame rate to like the exact amount. It doesn't full rate it every time. It just literally keeps it purring away and they are talking to each other to this extent, right? This is a wireless receiver. Can you see, that's wirelessly talking to this. Come and have a look at this. So we've got this here. Liven that up. I can go into this information it knows what the water pressure is in the boiler i can go energy data click on here power consumption how much in the heating because i've just set it up obviously everything's at zero but it will increase and show you hot water goes through it again you can go into fuel consumption it literally knows everything they are talking to each other. So it's a cracking, cracking bit of kit. Got all this on here. I love it. Burner status on. It knows that the boiler's on. So it's working really well. So I've cranked it up to 24 for a minute just to give it a little test. It's all working lovely. So now I'm gonna commission the boiler, get it all sorted. I'm not gonna go through commissioning details because who knows who's watching this? I don't want any DIY gurus thinking they know how to sort out a boiler, commission a boiler. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna commission this, gonna register it with Valent for a 10 year guarantee, you notify know, gas safe of all the gas work and everything like that. I'll get a certificate through a building regulations compliance certificate, which is something you need if you wanna sell your house or anything like that. Um, and yeah, get that all done and hand it over to the customer. What I love about them controls as well, I forgot to say, is as you're setting it up with the customer, it literally, it, it goes hand over the customer using this and it literally starts showing them every part of the menu. Um, it says how to use it. So it's like getting them to do the up and down the scrolls and stuff like that. So it's really, really, really proper good bit of kit. I oh, absolutely love it. And now I've done one on an Apple iPhone and a Samsung and it both connected perfectly. So I'm happy. <laughs> so I hope you've really enjoyed this job. Um, it's been a great one. This is what we're doing. So got the washing machine relocated to here. All the pipe work, I put this nice boarding up. Got the vertical flue through. Nice clip up there, vertical flue. Obviously we've got a load of making good to do. They're gonna sort all this all out in the future. Gonna, they're moving walls and all sorts. So I've just done what I can, get that sorted. Got a lovely controller working underneath there. Got that all chased in. I fixed the toilet. So now flushing toilet. This boiler has been removed. Cylinder has been taken out. The tanks have been taken out. We've got our water softener under here. So the whole house on soft water. And that is it. So, oh, of course we power flushed the entire system. So I hope you've really enjoyed that. If you have, please drop a comment, tell me what you like and what you'd like to see. Um, that's a system conversion from me. Pretty much touched on every little basis there. And I'm gonna be back on this job to change a few radiators and maybe possibly in the bar bathroom in the future and the loft bathroom, who knows? So stay tuned, please subscribe, like everything, love you all, bye bye.